Pretty easy decision for our game of the week. State ranked Palmetto host hot starting up and coming Sarasota in what should be one of the closest best played matchups of the night on Friday. But it's not exactly a straightforward matchup. Palmetto is coming off a gritty come from behind win at Riverview, but the Tigers will be without their starting quarterback, starting running back and starting defensive back too. all of them out with injury. Meanwhile, it's hard to know how good the Sailors really can be. They blasted a way overmatched Booker squad last week, and their offense looked impressive. Both teams are tied for third in our SNN Herald Tribune Top 10 poll. We felt we were a better football team, and we, we expected to be successful and win. Um, but, uh, you know, anytime you, you come out and, and perform, um, you know, I think you're always pleased when you perform the way you're supposed to. They're staying together. A lot of the guys that we're counting on to step up and fill those voids from the injured guys uh, are taking advantage of their opportunities and we're excited to see what they can do Friday night, you know, when the lights come on and see if they could put together two weeks in a row of those types of performances. Even with backup Chris Tutton in at quarterback for the Tigers, this game should still see a lot of balls in the air. Palmetto's got a great receiving core and Sarasota's got a rising star QB in Hunter DeWitt. He's a poised kid, you know, he's uh, really starting to get really comfortable with the offense. He missed a good bit of last year, um, so it's, it's exciting for us to see him, you know, come along as far as, as he has, and, uh, you know, the more comfortable he gets, the, the better he'll perform. We, we coach them all, and we, we tell them that, hey, this is football, and the injuries are a part of it. You've got to be prepared for when your opportunity comes to be able to take advantage of it. New state polls are out, and as expected, Manatee still number one in Class 7A, getting all 18 first place votes. Now, Venice drops down despite not playing a game last week, and Charlotte's getting votes here, too. In 5A, Palmetto got a first place vote, sits third with Southeast loss at Largo last week, hurting the Knolls just a little. They're still getting votes here, though. The real interesting and possibly confounding team listed in these polls is Booker. The Tornadoes got seven votes in the 4A state poll. That after they got blown out by Sarasota last week. These voters kind of lose some credibility here.